Hey guys, Tyler here from Gamer Next Stage, bringing you another episode of Scary Story Time. Sorry that there wasn't one last week. I went camping for my birthday. I didn't mention it was my birthday in the camping adventure video. Probably should have. But let's read some scary stories this week. This story is called. My daughter learned to count. My daughter woke me up around 11.50 last night. My wife and I had picked her up from her friend Sally's birthday party, brought her home, and put her to bed. My wife went into the bedroom to read while I fell asleep watching the Braves game. Daddy, she whispered, tugging my shirt sleeve. Guess how old I'm going to be next month. I don't know, beauty. I said as I slept on my glasses. How old? She smiled and held up four fingers. It is 7.30 now. My wife and I have been up for almost eight hours. She still refuses to tell us where she got them. This story is called Hell. There was no pearly gate. The only reason I knew I was in a cave was because I had just passed the entrance. The rock wall rose behind me with no ceiling in sight. I knew this was it. This was that what religion talked about. What man feared. I had just entered the gate to hell. I felt the presence of the cave as if it was a living, breathing creature. The stench of rotten flesh overwhelmed me. Then there was the noise that came from inside and all around. Welcome. Who are you? I asked, trying to keep my composure. You know. The thing answered. I did not know. You are the devil. I shuddered, quickly losing my composure. Why me? I've lived as good as I could. The silence took over the space as my words died out. It seemed like an hour went by before the response came. What did you expect? The voice was penetrating, but patient. I don't know. I never believed in any of this, I shuddered. Is that why I am here? Silence. I continued. They say the greatest trick you ever pulled was convincing the world you don't exist. No. The greatest trick I ever pulled was convincing the, the world there is an alternative. There is no God, I shivered. The cave trembled with the words, I am God.